Hi, this is CS Trades 101, Cameron Simpson. How are you guys doing today? This is not financial advice, strictly entertainment purposes. We got news after news after news. I promised you guys when you sub to this channel that it's going to be verbatim. News after news after news. I spend all day digging for you guys worldwide for the best content for your guys' channel. So, I just wanted to get into some stuff today. It's about the SEC. It just came out hours ago. And uh, it is a security, uh, the Security and Exchange Commissions. That's what the SEC stands for, guys, the new people on the channel. Okay, I'm just reading off a bulletin board um, above me. So, this is for immediate release. It is, uh, it's sectioned at 2021-149, uh, official document. It is awards for the whistleblowers. Uh, remember that little comment that I told you guys about before, the whistleblower uh, on the um, SEC, that you could actually go there and it's for like... People ratting out hedge funds, dark pool, all that stuff. There's a whole whack of stuff. We're not going to get into that because it's a separate video, but we do got some good information. You'll probably want to watch this till the end. Okay, so if you haven't subscribed already, hit the sub button, and we're going to rip this stuff out. So, August 10, 2021, the Securities and Exchange Commission today announced awards of nearly $6 million to two whistleblowers who provided information and assistance in separate enforcement proceedings. In the first order, the, the SEC awarded more than $3.5 million to a whistleblower who reportedly valued new information to the cause of the CSC to explain the existing information into a new uh, geographic area. So this is, uh, yeah, this is good stuff. The whistleblower and then provided supplementary information and assistance to help the CSCs bring the charges in an underlying enforcement action. These people are getting charged. Okay. In the second order, the, the SEC awarded more than uh, $2.4 uh, million to a whistleblower who uh, alerted the SEC to previous unknown conduct, prompting the opening of the investigation. And there met the uh, staff, the SEC staff, providing documents, factual information, guys. That's what they want. Uh, and, and identifying personal witnesses. Potential witnesses. Correction. Sorry, guys. Um, with today's order, this, uh, the SEC has made whistleblowers award the 14 individuals in less than a month. Um, reflecting the SEC's commitment to uh, review whistleblowers who, who provide new critical information and lead to successful enforcement uh, actions. Um, said Emily, an acting chief of the SEC official of whistleblowers. The, the SEC has awarded approximately nine, uh, sorry, whoa, that's a big number, 956 million to 195 individuals since issuing its first award in 2012. Okay, did it, did, I'm just going through this right now. It's been passed through Congress. I'm just scamming through this um, stuff because it's stuff that's just verbatim. So, yeah, there you go, is go. Okay, it says it will not disclose identity of people for their own protection, obviously. That's what the document said at the end. So, guys, this is awesome. So, we will know further and further what this is. Um, I, I don't really know because it's protected information, but I'm assuming, I'm assuming it is about... Um, it is about dark pool, all that kind of stuff, and about uh, redirecting, all that kind of stuff, okay? Because it's all being looked at, and that's what they've been talking about lately. So I'm assuming it's something to do with that. That is just speculation, though, okay? So you guys tell me what you think in the comments, and we're keeping this real. Wolfpack, love ya, and over and out. We got more coming. I probably will have some more by the end of the day or by tomorrow. So smash that sub button. Take her easy. Peace.